Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to get the best performance out of your games on the Wii U Jinx emulator on ROG Alloy or ROG Alloy X. You could do this on another device as well. A lot of the things I'll, I'll be doing and talking about will be applicable to other devices. So first of all, what I'm going to do is launch up Super Mario Wonder. This is the default settings so you can see what it runs like and you can you know, judge for yourself the difference in performance. I'll leave it in like the window mode that is fine for this testing. So I'm just gonna have a quick go and then I'm gonna show you the best settings to get the best performance and in many games, even get 60 frames per second as well. Super Mario Wonder is one of those where you can get 60 frames per second. You might get the odd drop, but it won't be as bad as it is currently. Like I said, this is default settings and I'm going to show you how this works and then I'm going to show you the best settings to get the best performance. So as you can see we're already getting you know, yeah the thing is the average might be all right but the Based those you know slow downs that we're hitting on a regular enough basis that you know do ruin the experience. So you can see the frame rate here is jumping down to like 30, 40 on a consistent basis. Again, you know, you see that slowdown there again, it's, it, it literally just grinds to a halt sometimes. Okay, I think that's enough to you know show you what I mean. I'm going to close the game down. You need to close the game down, you know, for this. I'll even close the emulator then. First thing that we want to do is actually nothing to do with Wii U Jinx. It is the Asus ROG specific. Um, so you got the right buttons over here. Press the one on the bottom. This will open up the arm we create. In here, what you want to do when it loads up, let me show you. You want to go over to your settings. You want to go to performance. I'm going to go down to GPU settings and for memory assigned to GPU select auto if if let's say you change it worth to whatever setting you will need to restart your device so do this first this is the first step so make sure auto is selected I can close this down now next thing if you open up command set center make sure that it's in turbo mode so 25 watts obviously if you have it plugged in you'll hit the 30 watts 30 watts for the APU even more performance not crazy more but you know you'll get something and CPU boost is on as well. Okay, now with that comes the Ryu Jinx specific settings to get the best performance. Okay, you want to go to options. Actually, another side note, and this is more game specific. You want to check out the compatibility list for Ryu Jinx and Type your game in, like I've already typed it in, I've already loaded it up, the page, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and in here it will show you the settings that were used. Oh, the website's not loading properly, but it'll show you the best the settings that were used, any sort of like known problems, and you'll see user comments as well. So even though you might not actually have something for like the ROG here, there might be something specific for your game that you can get better performance out of. Now Going back to the reusing stuff, go to options, settings, and over here you want to go to system, select expand DRAM to 8 gigabits, or gigabytes, that's GB bytes, yeah, gig, GB bytes, yeah, because uh, it's a GIB, it's not just regular GB. And that's the only setting that you need to have here. I recommend that you enable vSync, that should be enabled by default. If you have any issues with enabling the expanding the DRAM, just knock it down so we've done auto in our crate we've set it to eight here if you have any issues just knock it no i mean just deselect it some games work some games have you know loads of crashes in the graphics so this is assuming you've ever got everything as default you want to hover over here enable texture recompression some games like super mario wonder as it's you know mentioned there this can help with performance so select that Make sure graphics backend is set to Volker. That's just a little extra tip. Native resolution, you want to go to custom. 
and knock this down to 0 0.5. So this will halve the width and the height, so it gets a quarter of the resolution, even though it's saying 0 0.5. But what we're gonna do, go to scaling filter, select FSR, and this is a upscaler from AMD, it's the Fidelity Scale Resolution, I believe it stands for. And even though we've knocked the resolution down, it'll still look pretty comparable, if not the same as the original, whilst giving us extra performance. <coughs> Sorry about that, feeling a bit unwell. And that's it, that's pretty much the main thing that you wanna do here. Click apply, okay, launch the game up. There's a couple more things that I wanna show you actually just want to be exact. So once your game has loaded up, there's one little change I want to make. So down here, it says docked, click that. So it says handheld. So you'll have the lower resolution mode, which is handheld. Typically that will be 720p versus 1080p docked, but this is 360p versus 540p. But with the upscaler, the 360p looks like 720, and in all fairness, 720p on a small screen is still fine, even though the native resolution for this is 1080p. And that's it, everything else you can leave as default here. And now let's go. Let's see what the performance is like in comparison to what we had before. Obviously, depending on the game, your mileage will vary. Some games I feel like Super Mario Wonder is a good example. One, it's new. Two, because it's new and obviously a graphically intensive game, you will get slowdowns, generally speaking. So with these improvements, you, I, I feel like you get to a point where you will get 60 frames per second and not only 60, you will have not 60 all the time, but you will have it enough that it's an enjoyable experience. <coughs> so yeah, if you just keep an eye on the frame rate, as you can see, it's a lot better. Sometimes it dips down to like 45 or so, but overall, it is fine, I'm just like running through the world, so there's a lot of things loading up very quickly. Let's go into here. Before, it was grinding to a halt here. Let's see if it grinds to a halt. So again, we're getting the odd slowdown, but it is, in my eyes, this is a playable experience. That if I was like, okay, you know, I have to play it like this, more than happy to. Again. A bit of slow, slow down there in comparison to how we were at the start of the level, but still a lot better than before. So that's the best settings to get the best performance out of the Wii U Jinx emulator on your ROG Alloy and ROG Alloy X. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what other videos in terms of emulation you'd like to see next down in the comments. And all the links for everything that we discussed will be in the description, including a Wii U Jinx setup video. Stay tuned for my Patreon page with all the exclusive emulation content that, you know, we don't have on YouTube. It will be on Patreon very, very soon. Take care. Bye.